figure out a way to do this discreetly, but it's not gonna happen. I have the worst wedgie in the whole wide world. <laughs> down as I enter him, his hands on my sheets turn into fists. I hold him closer, knowing that he's straight. This makes my heart sore. I make fistfuls of soft blonde hair while inside my forbidden man, who's supposed to stay miles away from me and keep my fingers and organs out of his mouth and out of his ass. While the girlfriend wakes at home, I undress him and let him, for the first time in his life, be truly vulnerable in a man's arms. Knowing it's a curse to touch the curse, I show a prisoner a taste of freedom. Nectar that should be like poison from this motherfucking fruit that is forbidden. I keep my weight on my forbidden man, holding his ankles, which points up to his Lord Jesus and laugh when he reminds me that he's strict, that he's only experimenting, that he's taking a break, that this is his last time, and that when it's over, he's gonna return to that bitchy, mousy woman he has at home, and he's gonna marry that homely plain girl, he's gonna make her a lonely, unloved wife. I laugh when he tells me this, turn him around, smack him on the ass, and continue to fuck him. Proud of myself for fucking a Republican, as if I'm taking one from a liberal team, hit him with my palms just a little harder for being a Christian, I bite down on his shoulders and keep him there a little longer on his knees. I put my hands on my forbidden man's chest and push him away as hard as I can just to fuck with his head. Let him wrestle me to the ground after I throw his presence away and step on his fucking roses and laugh when he tries to hold my hand but only in the dark. I keep my hairs covered with my useless hands because I don't want to hear his secrets. I don't want to hear his worries or his doubts. It's bad enough he smells like guilt, which makes me want him even more. It's bad enough he grew up a Boy Scout repressed because, ladies and gentlemen, that made him so much better in bed. <laughs> Trying to hurry the fuck up and get the hell out of this place before the girlfriend got home, he would always stop me at his doorway and say, remember, I don't love you. I'm not gay. This is just me messing around. All I would have to say is, no sweat, buddy, but remember though, before you kiss her, to get that taste of my cock out of your mouth. <laughs> I keep my distance from my forbidden man, knowing it drives him crazy. I ignore his phone calls and taunt him when I finally answer by saying, oh, you really gotta see me? Then why don't you get some balls, you pussy, and meet me in the Castro? I'm at the mix. I wish I could call you a fag, but I can't. Fags have a strength and rage and curse that you and I will never know. All you are is a coward, forbidden man, God-fearing man. Go watch some sports! <laughs> I keep my fingers on my forbidden man, lightly caressing the back of his neck as he sleeps with his head on my shoulder. I whisper in his ears, and he dreams, violent dreams, kicking in my bed as he sleeps. I put my arms around him as he tosses and turns, kicking like an animal, almost tossing me off the bed. I sink my fingernails deep into his skin and grab onto my forbidden man and never let go. I sink my teeth into his shoulder and continue to taunt him, continue kicking, pulling, pinching, punching, screaming, fucking never loving, fucking, and hoping to piss him off enough to kill me. 